And now, match commentary from someone who has absolutely no idea how the game works. We'd like to welcome you to this intergalactic, interstellar, interesting robotics competition. My name is Greg Rakestraw. I am joined by Chris Osborne. The folks from the Indiana Robotics Group that asked me to do this have thought, you know what? What if we brought an actual kind of sports play-by-play -play guy and add his commentary to the mix? Unfortunately, what they did not give me was the gift of time. So I have no idea what I'm about to see, but I am a trained professional. I'm sure it's all going to work out. Chris, your quick thoughts before we actually get this thing started, whatever it's going to be. Greg, we're looking forward to having you here today. Absolutely. This is definitely uh, the high school sports for the mind. First robotics. We've got an exciting match here at the Kokomo Memorial Gymnasium. Uh, we've got the semifinals, match number four. The winner of this match is heading to the finals. Great. All right. So the Wildcats won the state championship back in 1961. That's what I don't know about Kokomo. Let's get to it. All right, Chris, it seems that there are red row. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. There's they're some sort of wall. Are they, are they playing some sort of high-tech dodgeball, Chris? Well, you would think so, Greg, but no. This is actually a medieval game called Stronghold. They're trying to get over defenses to score goals up in the tower. Medieval, do you pronounce it Renaissance as well? Okay, now I see they're actually moving. I still think they're going to play some sort of, oh, they're starting to storm the castle. Why are they attacking their castles, Chris? They're trying to load their castle up with points in the higher goal or the lower goal to score as many points as possible to outscore their opponent. Now, when does the actual attacking begin? When does the red robot go after the blue robot in some sort of death metal cage match? Uh, Greg, that's not really what this is about. Oh, I thought I was doing some sort of UFC competition. So you're telling me that the red robots and the blue robots are actually working together as some sort of team. Well, the red robots are working as a team, Greg, yes. And the blue are working on another team. Uh, you'll see there is some contact early on there in the match. We did have uh, 1529 from Southport do make some contact over on the far side of the field. Now, I see there is some sort of gentleman in yellow. He appears to be a yellow shirt from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Did one of these cars have some form of parking violation? Uh, Greg, that yellow shirt indicates that he is, in fact, the head referee. Oh, okay. I see a red flag and a blue flag. Um, was there holding on the play? Was there 15 yards for pass interference? Oh, there's a flag. I see something. Yeah, so that would indicate fouls. So you were right there. There, there were some fouls. They don't, they don't get any yardage, but, but there can be points allotted to the other alliance for fouls. Now, I see there are castles. Is there anything to do with Game of Thrones in this competition? No, no Greg. No. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, there is a lot of numbers on the screen. I have no idea what they mean. Uh, could, you, could you instruct me and, of course, the audience, who I'm sure is seeing this for the first? Oh, something went into the yellow. What's going on here, Chris? We're in the last 30 seconds of the match, Greg. This is the end game. This is when the robots are now going to try to ascend the tower to earn even more points. And you can see right now red is leading 128 to 118. Uh, no, 130. The points are ever changing. You'll see, oh, 4103 looking to grab the tower over on the left hand side of your screen. We may have a climb. What sort of gizmos, contraptions are these things? They never attacked each other the way that I thought they would, but now they're oh. like attached to the castle. Is that important, Chris? Yeah, that does get the alliance even more points in the end game. And ending on the ramp there, you can see we do have a red alliance victory, 135 to 118. The red alliance securing a win, moving them on to the finals. Congratulations to the red alliance. All right, so the red alliance beats the blue alliance. What sort of geopolitical ramifications are there from the red alliance's victory today? Uh, no, no real geopolitical greg these are high school robotics teams that are are trying to win the state championship okay chris apparently we are done here today your final thoughts on what is apparently going to be the only ever robotics competition i do play by play for well greg we certainly appreciate you being here today and giving it your best and and trying and we we know that you do a great job calling all those those sporting events but yeah we we're probably going to hand it over back to our uh, our regular mc for the the state finals